Lisbon, Portuguese, Lisboa, IPA, Libo, listen, is the capital and the largest city of Portugal, with an estimated population of 505,526 within its administrative limits in an area of 100.05 square kilometers. Its urban area extends beyond the city's administrative limits with a population of around 2.8 million people, being the 11th most populous urban area in the European Union. About 3 million people live in the Lisbon metropolitan area which represents approximately 27% of the country's population. It is mainland Europe's westernmost capital city and the only one along the Atlantic coast. Lisbon lies in the western Iberian Peninsula on the Atlantic Ocean and the River Tagus. The westernmost areas of its metro area form the westernmost point of continental Europe, which is known as Cabo da Roca, located in the Sintra Mountains. Lisbon is recognized as an alpha-level global city by the Globalization and World Cities study group because of its importance in finance, commerce, media, entertainment, arts, international trade, education and tourism. Lisbon is the only Portuguese city besides Porto to be recognized as a global city. It is one of the major economic centers on the continent, with a growing financial sector and one of the largest container ports on Europe's Atlantic coast. Additionally, Humberto Delgado Airport served 26.7 million passengers in 2017, being the busiest airport in Portugal, the third busiest in the Iberian Peninsula and the 20th busiest in Europe, and the motorway network and the high-speed rail system of Alfa Pendular links the main cities of Portugal such as Braga, Porto and Coimbra to Lisbon. The city is the ninth most visited city in southern Europe, after Rome, Istanbul, Barcelona, Milan, Venice, Madrid, Florence and Athens, with 3,320,300 tourists in 2017. The Lisbon region contributes with a higher GDP PPP per capita than any other region in Portugal. Its GDP amounts to €96.3 billion United States dollars and thus $32,434 per capita. The city occupies the 40th place of highest gross earnings in the world. Most of the headquarters of multinational corporations in Portugal are located in the Lisbon area. It is also the political centre of the country, as its seat of government and residence of the head of state. Lisbon is one of the oldest cities in the world, and one of the oldest in Western Europe, predating other modern European capitals such as London, Paris, and Rome by centuries. Julius Caesar made it a municipium called Felicitas Julia, adding to the name Olisipo. Ruled by a series of Germanic tribes from the 5th century, it was captured by the Moors in the 8th century. In 1147, the Crusaders under Afonso Enriquez reconquered the city and since then it has been a major political, economic and cultural centre of Portugal. Unlike most capital cities, Lisbon's status as the capital of Portugal has never been granted or confirmed officially, by statute or in written form. Its position as the capital has formed through constitutional convention, making its position as de facto capital a part of the Constitution of Portugal. Etymology <inaudible> 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 
One claim often repeated in non-academic literature is that the name of Lisbon can be traced back to Phoenician times, referring to a supposedly Phoenician term Ali's UBO, meaning safe harbor. Roman authors of the 1st century AD referred to popular legends that the city of Lisbon was founded by the mythical hero Odysseus on his journey home from Troy. Although modern archaeological excavations show a Phoenician presence at this location since 1200 BC, neither of these folk etymologies has any historical credibility. Lisbon's origin may in fact derive from Proto-Celtic or Celtic Olisipo, Lisapo, or a similar name which other visiting peoples like the ancient Phoenicians, Greeks and Romans adapted accordingly. The name of the settlement may be derived from the pre-Roman appellation for the Tagus River, Lisso or Lucio. Lisbon's name was written Ulysipo in Latin by the geographer Pomponius Mela, a native of Hispania. It was later referred to as Olisipo by Pliny the Elder and by the Greeks as Olisipo, Olisipon or Olisipona, Olisipona internationally. Lisbon's name is abbreviated to LX or to LI, which is also the IATA airport code of the Lisbon Humberto Delgado Airport. Topic: History Topic: Pre-Roman. During the Neolithic period, the region was inhabited by pre-Celtic tribes who built religious and funerary monuments, megaliths, dolmens, and menhirs, which still survive in areas on the periphery of Lisbon. The Indo-European Celts invaded in the 1st millennium BC, mixing with the pre-Indo-European population, thus giving rise to Celtic-speaking local tribes such as the Sempsi. Although the first fortifications on Lisbon's Costello Hill are known to be no older than the 2nd century BC, recent archaeological finds have shown that Iron Age people occupied the site from the 8th to 6th centuries BC. This indigenous settlement maintained commercial relations with the Phoenicians, which would account for the recent findings of Phoenician pottery and other material objects. Archaeological excavations made near the castle of São Jorge, Castelo de São Jorge, and Lisbon Cathedral indicate a Phoenician presence at this location since 1200 BC, and it can be stated with confidence that a Phoenician trading post stood on a site now the center of the present city, on the southern slope of the castle hill. The sheltered harbour in the Tagus River estuary was an ideal spot for an Iberian settlement and would have provided a secure harbour for unloading and provisioning Phoenician ships. The Tagus settlement was an important centre of commercial trade with the inland tribes, providing an outlet for the valuable metals, salt and salted fish they collected, and for the sale of the Lusitanian horses renowned in antiquity. According to legend, the location was named for the mythical Ulysses, who founded the settlement after he left Troy to escape the Greek coalition. Later, the Greek name appeared in Vulgar Latin in the form Olisipona. Topic: <inaudible> Roman Era. Following the defeat of Hannibal in 202 BC during the Punic Wars, the Romans determined to deprive Carthage of its most valuable possession, Hispania the Iberian Peninsula. 
the defeat of Carthaginian forces by Scipio Africanus in eastern Hispania allowed the pacification of the West, led by consul Decimus Junius Brutus Callaecus. Decimus obtained the alliance of Olisipo, which sent men to fight alongside the Roman legions against the northwestern Celtic tribes by integrating it into the empire, as the Municipium Sives Romanorum Felicitus Julia. Local authorities were granted self-rule over a territory that extended 50 kilometers, 31 miles, exempt from taxes. Its citizens were given the privileges of Roman citizenship, and it was then integrated with the Roman province of Lusitania, whose capital was Emerita Augusta. Lusitanian raids and rebellions during Roman occupation required the construction of a wall around the settlement. During Augustus' reign, the Romans also built a great theatre, the Cassian Baths underneath Rua da Prada, temples to Jupiter, Diana, Cybele, Tethys and Idea Phrygia an uncommon cult from Asia Minor, in addition to temples to the emperor, a large necropolis under Praca da Figuera, a large forum and other buildings such as Insuli multi-storied apartment buildings in the area between the Castle Hill and the historic city core. Many of these ruins were first unearthed during the mid-18th century when the recent discovery of Pompeii made Roman archaeology fashionable among Europe's upper classes. The city prospered as piracy was eliminated and technological advances were introduced, consequently Felicitas Julia became a centre of trade with the Roman provinces of Britannia particularly Cornwall and the Rhine. Economically strong, Olisipo was known for its garum, a fish sauce highly prized by the elites of the empire and exported in amphorae to Rome, wine, salt, and horse breeding, while Roman culture permeated the hinterland. The city was connected by a broad road to western Hispania's two other large cities, Bracara Augusta in the province of Terraconensis Portuguese Braga, and Emerita Augusta, the capital of Lusitania. The city was ruled by an oligarchical council dominated by two families, the Julii and the Cassiae, although regional authority was administered by the Roman governor of Emerita or directly by Emperor Tiberius. Among the majority of Latin speakers lived a large minority of Greek traders and slaves. Around 80 BC, the Roman Quintus Sertorius led a rebellion against the dictator Sulla. During this period, he organized the tribes of Lusitania and Hispania and was on the verge of forming an independent province in the Sertorian War when he was assassinated. Olisipo, like most great cities in the Western Empire, was a centre for the dissemination of Christianity. Its first attested bishop was Potamius c. 356, and there were several martyrs during the period of persecution of the Christians, Maxima, Verissimus and Eulalia of Merida are the most significant examples. By the time of the fall of Rome, Olisipo had become a notable Christian centre. Following the disintegration of the Western Roman Empire there were barbarian invasions, between 409 and 429 the city was occupied successively by Sarmatians, Alans and Vandals. The Germanic Subi, who established a kingdom in Gaiaecia, modern Galicia and northern Portugal, with its capital in Bracara Augusta, also controlled the region of Lisbon until 585. 
In 585, the Subi Kingdom was integrated into the Germanic Visigothic Kingdom of Toledo, which comprised all of the Iberian Peninsula. Lisbon was then called Ulishbona. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle Ages. On 6 August 711, Lisbon was taken by Muslim forces. These conquerors, who were mostly Berbers and Arabs from North Africa and the Middle East, built many mosques and houses, rebuilt the city wall known as the Circa Mora and established administrative control, while permitting the diverse population Maladi, Mozarabs, Berbers, Arabs, Jews, Zanj and Sakaliba to maintain their socio-cultural lifestyles. Mozarabic was the native language spoken by most of the Christian population although Arabic was widely known as spoken by all religious communities. Islam was the official religion practiced by the Arabs, Berbers, Zanj, Sakaliba and Maladi the Muslim influence is still visible present in the Alfama district, an old quarter of Lisbon that survived the 1755 Lisbon earthquake. Many place names are derived from Arabic, and the Alfama, the oldest existing district of Lisbon, was derived from the Arabic Al Hama. For a brief time, Lisbon was an independent Muslim kingdom known as the Taifa of Lisbon, before being conquered by the larger Taifa of Badajoz in 1094. In 1108 Lisbon was raided and occupied by Norwegian crusaders led by Sigurd I on their way to the Holy Land as part of the Norwegian Crusade and occupied by crusader forces for three years. It was taken by the Moorish Almoravids in 1111. In 1147, as part of the Reconquista, Crusader knights led by Afonso I of Portugal besieged and conquered Lisbon. The city, with around 154,000 residents at the time, was returned to Christian rule. The reconquest of Portugal and re-establishment of Christianity is one of the most significant events in Lisbon's history, described in the chronicle Expugnatione Lixbonense, which describes, among other incidents, how the local bishop was killed by the Crusaders and the city's residents pray to the Virgin Mary as it happened. Some of the Muslim residents converted to Roman Catholicism, and most of those who did not convert fled to other parts of the Islamic world, primarily Muslim Spain and North Africa. All mosques were either completely destroyed or converted into churches. As a result of the end of Muslim rule, spoken Arabic quickly lost its place in the everyday life of the city and disappeared altogether. With its central location, Lisbon became the capital city of the new Portuguese territory in 1255. The first Portuguese university was founded in Lisbon in 1290 by King Denis I. For many years, the Studium General (General Study) was transferred intermittently to Coimbra, where it was installed permanently in the 16th century as the University of Coimbra. In 1384, the city was besieged by King Juan I of Castile, as a part of the ongoing 1383–1385 crisis. The result of the siege was a victory for the Portuguese led by Nuno Álvarez Pereira. During the last centuries of the Middle Ages, the city expanded substantially and became an important trading post with both northern European and Mediterranean cities.
Topic: <laughs> Early Modern Most of the Portuguese expeditions of the Age of Discovery left Lisbon during the period from the end of the 15th century to the beginning of the 17th century, including Vasco da Gama's expedition to India in 1498. In 1506, 3,000 Jews were massacred in Lisbon. The 16th century was Lisbon's golden era. The city was the European hub of commerce between Africa, India, the Far East, and later, Brazil, and acquired great riches by exploiting the trade in spices, slaves, sugar, textiles, and other goods. This period saw the rise of the exuberant Manuline style in architecture, which left its mark in many 16th-century monuments including Lisbon's Belém Tower and Geronimo's Monastery, which were declared UNESCO World Heritage Sites. A description of Lisbon in the 16th century was written by Demiao de Gua and published in 1554. Portugal lost its independence to Spain after the succession crisis of 1580, initiating a 60 year period of dual monarchy in Portugal and Spain under the Spanish Habsburgs. This is referred to as the Philippine Dominion. Dominio Filipino, since all three Spanish kings during that period were called Philip Felipe. The Portuguese Restoration War, which began with a coup d'état organized by the nobility and bourgeoisie in Lisbon and executed on 1 December 1640, restored Portuguese independence. The period from 1640 to 1668 was marked by periodic skirmishes between Portugal and Spain, as well as short episodes of more serious warfare, until the Treaty of Lisbon was signed in 1668. In the early 18th century, gold from Brazil allowed King John V to sponsor the building of several Baroque churches and theatres in the city. Prior to the 18th century, Lisbon had experienced several significant earthquakes, eight in the 14th century, five in the 16th century including the 1531 earthquake that destroyed 1,500 houses and the 1597 earthquake in which three streets vanished, and three in the 17th century. On 1 November 1755, the city was destroyed by another devastating earthquake, which killed an estimated 30,000 to 40,000 Lisbon residents of a population estimated at between 200,000 and 275,000, and destroyed 85% of the city's structures. Among several important buildings of the city, the Ribeira Palace and the Hospital Real de Todos os Santos were lost. In coastal areas, such as Paniche, situated about 80 kilometers 50 miles north of Lisbon, many people were killed by the following tsunami. By 1755, Lisbon was one of the largest cities in Europe. The catastrophic event shocked the whole of Europe and left a deep impression on its collective psyche. Voltaire wrote a long poem, Poem sur le désastre de Lisbonne, shortly after the quake, and mentioned it in his 1759 novel Candide Indeed, many argue that this critique of optimism was inspired by that earthquake. Oliver Wendell Holmes Sr. also mentions it in his 1857 poem, The Deacon's Masterpiece, or The Wonderful One Hoss Shea. 
After the 1755 earthquake, the city was rebuilt largely according to the plans of Prime Minister Sebastião José de Carvalho e Melo, the first Marquess of Pombal. The lower town began to be known as the Baixa Pombalina, Pombaline Central District. Instead of rebuilding the medieval town, Pombal decided to demolish what remained after the earthquake and rebuild the city centre in accordance with principles of modern urban design. It was reconstructed in an open rectangular plan with two great squares, the Praca do Rossio and the Praca do Comercio. The first, the central commercial district, is the traditional gathering place of the city and the location of the older cafes, theatres and restaurants, the second became the city's main access to the River Tagus and point of departure and arrival for seagoing vessels, adorned by a triumphal arch 1873 and monument to King Joseph I. Topic: Late Modern and Contemporary. In the first years of the 19th century, Portugal was invaded by the troops of Napoleon Bonaparte, forcing Queen Maria I and Prince Regent John, future John VI, to flee temporarily to Brazil. By the time the new king returned to Lisbon, many of the buildings and properties were pillaged, sacked or destroyed by the invaders. During the 19th century, the liberal movement introduced new changes into the urban landscape. The principal areas were in the Baixa and along the Chiado district, where shops, tobacconist shops, cafes, bookstores, clubs and theatres proliferated. The development of industry and commerce determined the growth of the city, seeing the transformation of the Paseo Publico, a Pombaline era park, into the Avenida da Liberdade, as the city grew farther from the Tagus. Lisbon was the site of the regicide of Carlos I of Portugal in 1908, an event which culminated two years later in the First Republic. The city refounded its university in 1911 after centuries of inactivity in Lisbon, incorporating reformed former colleges and other non-university higher education schools of the city such as the Escola Politécnica, now Faculdade de Ciencias. Today there are two public universities in the city University of Lisbon and New University of Lisbon, a public university institute ISCTE, Lisbon University Institute and a Polytechnic Institute IPL, Instituto Politecnico de Lisboa. During World War II, Lisbon was one of the very few neutral, open European Atlantic ports, a major gateway for refugees to the US and a haven for spies. More than 100,000 refugees were able to flee Nazi Germany via Lisbon during the Estado Novo regime (1926–1974). Lisbon was expanded at the cost of other districts within the country, resulting in nationalist and monumental projects. New residential and public developments were constructed, the zone of Belém was modified for the 1940 Portuguese exhibition, while along the periphery new districts appeared to house the growing population. The inauguration of the bridge over the Tagus allowed rapid connection between both sides of the river. Lisbon was the site of three revolutions in the 20th century. The first, the 5th of October 1910 revolution, brought an end to the Portuguese monarchy and established the highly unstable and corrupt Portuguese First Republic. 
The 6 June 1926 revolution would see the end of that first republic and firmly establish the Estado Novo, or the Portuguese Second Republic, as the ruling regime. The final revolution, the Carnation Revolution, would take place on 25 April 1974 and would end the right-wing Estado Novo and reform the country as the current Portuguese Third Republic. In the 1990s, many of the districts were renovated and projects in the historic quarters were established to modernize those areas. Architectural and patrimonial buildings were renovated, the northern margin of the Tagus was repurposed for leisure and residential use, the Vasco da Gama Bridge was constructed, and the eastern part of the municipality was repurposed for Expo 98 to commemorate the 500th anniversary of Vasco da Gama's sea voyage to India, a voyage that would bring immense riches to Lisbon and cause many of Lisbon's landmarks to be built. In 1988, a fire in the historical district of Chiado saw the destruction of many 18th-century Pombolin-style buildings. A series of restoration works has brought the area back to its former self and made it a high-scale shopping district. The Lisbon Agenda was a European Union agreement on measures to revitalize the EU economy, signed in Lisbon in March 2000. In October 2007 Lisbon hosted the 2007 EU summit, where agreement was reached regarding a new EU governance model. The resulting Treaty of Lisbon was signed on 13 December 2007 and came into force on 1 December 2009. Lisbon has been the site for many international events and programs. In 1994, Lisbon was the European capital of culture. On 3 November 2005, Lisbon hosted the MTV European Music Awards. On 7 July 2007, Lisbon held the ceremony of the New Seven Wonders of the World election, in the Lou Stadium, with live transmission for millions of people all over the world. Every two years, Lisbon hosts the Rock in Rio Lisboa Music Festival, one of the largest in the world. Lisbon hosted the NATO summit 19 to 20 November 2010, a summit meeting that is regarded as a periodic opportunity for heads of state and heads of government of NATO member states to evaluate and provide strategic direction for alliance activities. The city hosts the Web Summit and is the head office for the group of 7 plus G7+. Plus. In 2018 it hosted the Eurovision Song Contest for the first time as well as the Michelin Gala. Geography Physical geography Lisbon is located at 38 degrees 42 minutes 49.75 seconds north 9 degrees 8 minutes 21.79 seconds west, situated at the mouth of the Tagus River and is the westernmost capital of a mainland European country. The westernmost part of Lisbon is occupied by the Parque Florestal de Monsanto English, Monsanto Forest Park, a 10 square kilometres 4 square miles urban park, one of the largest in Europe, and occupying 10% of the municipality. 
the city occupies an area of 100.05 square kilometers, 39 square miles, and its city boundaries, unlike those of most major cities, coincide with those of the municipality. The rest of the urbanized area of the Lisbon metropolitan area, known generically as Greater Lisbon Portuguese, Grande Lisboa, extends to the city of Setúbal and includes several administratively defined cities and municipalities, such as Amadora, Coelhos, Agualva Casim, Odavelas, Lores, Sacavame, Almada, Barrero, Seychelles and Eras. Topic. Climate Lisbon has a Mediterranean climate with mild, rainy winters and warm to hot, dry summers. The average annual temperature is 17.4 degrees Celsius, 63.3 degrees Fahrenheit, 21.3 degrees Celsius, 70.3 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 13.5 degrees Celsius, 56.3 degrees Fahrenheit at night. In the coldest month, January, the highest temperature during the day typically ranges from 10 to 18 degrees Celsius, 50 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit. The lowest temperature at night ranges from 3 to 13 degrees Celsius, 37 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit, and the average sea temperature is 15 degrees Celsius, 59 degrees Fahrenheit. In the warmest month, August, the highest temperature during the day typically ranges from 25 to 32 degrees Celsius, 77 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The lowest temperature at night ranges from 14 to 20 degrees Celsius, 57 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and the average sea temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Among among European cities with a population above 500,000, Lisbon ranks with one of the warmest winters less than Valencia or Malaga and one of the mildest nighttime temperatures, from an average of 8.3 degrees Celsius .9 degrees Fahrenheit in the coldest month, and 18.6 degrees Celsius .5 degrees Fahrenheit in the warmest month. The minimum temperature recorded in Lisbon was minus 1.2 degrees Celsius 30 degrees Fahrenheit in February 1956 and minus 1 degree Celsius 30 degrees Fahrenheit in January 1985. The maximum temperature recorded in Lisbon was 42 degrees Celsius, 108 degrees Fahrenheit on the 1st of August 2003. Sunshine hours are 2806 per year, from an average of 4.6 hours of sunshine duration per day in December to an average of 11.4 hours of sunshine duration per day in July. The annual average rainfall is 774 mm (30.5 in), being November the wettest month. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Civil parishes. The municipality of Lisbon included 53 freguesias (civil parishes) until November 2012. A new law lay in. 56 2012s reduced the number of freguesias to the following 24. Topic: <inaudible> Bairros. <inaudible> 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 Locally, Lisbon's inhabitants may commonly refer to the spaces of Lisbon in terms of historic bairros de Lisboa neighborhoods. 
These communities have no clearly defined boundaries and represent distinctive quarters of the city that have in common a historical culture, similar living standards, and identifiable architectural landmarks, as exemplified by the Barro Alto, Alfama, Chiado, and so forth. Topic: Alcantara. Although today it is quite central, it was once a mere suburb of Lisbon, comprising mostly farms and country estates of the nobility with their palaces. In the 16th century, there was a brook there which the nobles used to promenade in their boats. During the late 19th century, Alcantara became a popular industrial area, with lots of small factories and warehouses. In the early 1990s, Alcantara began to attract youth because of the number of pubs and discotheques. This was mainly due to its outer area of mostly commercial buildings, which acted as barriers to the noise-generating nightlife which acted as a buffer to the residential communities surrounding it. In the meantime, some of these areas began to become gentrified, attracting loft developments and new flats, which have profited from its river views and central location. The riverfront of Alcantara is known for its nightclubs and bars. The area is commonly known as Doka docks, since most of the clubs and bars are housed in converted dock warehouses. <laughs> Alfama The oldest district of Lisbon, it spreads down the southern slope from the castle of São Jorge to the river Tagus. Its name, derived from the Arabic al-Hama, means fountains or baths. During the Islamic invasion of Iberia, the Alfama constituted the largest part of the city, extending west to the Baixa neighborhood. Increasingly, the Alfama became inhabited by fishermen and the poor, its fame as a poor neighborhood continues to this day. While the 1755 Lisbon earthquake caused considerable damage throughout the capital, the Alfama survived with little damage, thanks to its compact labyrinth of narrow streets and small squares. It is an historical quarter of mixed-use buildings occupied by fado bars, restaurants, and homes with small shops downstairs. Modernizing trends have invigorated the district, old houses have been repurposed or remodeled, while new buildings have been constructed. Fado, the typically Portuguese style of melancholy music, is common but not obligatory in the restaurants of the district. <laughs> Moraria The Moraria, or Moorish Quarter, is one of the most traditional neighborhoods of Lisbon, although most of its old buildings were demolished by the Estado Novo between the 1930s and the 1970s. It takes its name from the fact that after the reconquest of Lisbon, the Muslims who remained were confined to this part of the city. In turn, the Jews were confined to three neighborhoods called Judearias. Topic: <inaudible> Barro Alto. Barro Alto, literally the upper quarter in Portuguese, is an area of central Lisbon that functions as a residential, shopping and entertainment district. It is the center of the Portuguese capital's nightlife, attracting hipster youth and members of various music subcultures. 
Lisbon's punk, gay, metal, goth, hip-hop and reggae scenes all find a home in the Barrow with its many clubs and bars that cater to them. The crowds in the Barrow Alto are a multicultural mix of people representing a broad cross-section of modern Portuguese society, many of them being entertainment seekers and devotees of various music genres outside the mainstream, yet Fado, Portugal's national music, still survives in the midst of the new nightlife. Topic. Baixa The heart of the city is the Baixa or city centre. The Pombaline Baixa is an elegant district, primarily constructed after the 1755 Lisbon earthquake, taking its name from its benefactor, Sebastião José de Carvalho e Melo. First Marquis of Pombal, who was the minister of Joseph I of Portugal (1750–1777) and a key figure during the Portuguese Enlightenment. Following the 1755 disaster, Pombal took the lead in rebuilding Lisbon, imposing strict conditions and guidelines on the construction of the city, and transforming the organic street plan that characterized the district before the earthquake into its current grid pattern. As a result, the Pombaline Baixa is one of the first examples of earthquake resistant construction. Architectural models were tested by having troops march around them to simulate an earthquake. Notable features of Pombaline structures include the Pombaline cage, a symmetrical wood lattice framework aimed at distributing earthquake forces, and inter-terrace walls that were built higher than roof timbers to inhibit the spread of fires. Belém Belém is famous as the place from which many of the great Portuguese explorers set off on their voyages of discovery. In particular, it is the place from which Vasco da Gama departed for India in 1497 and Pedro Álvarez Cabral departed for Brazil in 1499. It is also a former royal residence and features the 17th–18th century Belém Palace, a former royal residence now occupied by the President of Portugal, and the Ayuda Palace, begun in 1802 but never completed. Perhaps Belém's most famous feature is its tower, Torre de Belém, whose image is much used by Lisbon's tourist board. The tower was built as a fortified lighthouse late in the reign of Dom Manuel L. (1515–1520) to guard the entrance to the port. It stood on a little island in right side of the Tagus, surrounded by water. Belém's other major historical building is the Mosteiro dos Geronimos, Geronimos Monastery, which the Torre de Belém was built partly to defend. Belém's most notable modern feature is the Padrão dos Descobrimentos, monument to the discoveries, built for the Portuguese World Fair in 1940. In the heart of Belém is the Praça do Imperio, garden centered upon a large fountain, laid out during World War II. To the west of the gardens lies the Centro Cultural de Belém. Belém is one of the most visited Lisbon districts. Here is located the Estadio do Ristello, House of Belenenses. Topic. Chiado The Chiado is a traditional shopping area that mixes old and modern commercial establishments, concentrated specially in the Rua do Carmo and the Rua Garret. 
locals as well as tourists visit the Chiado to buy books, clothing and pottery as well as to have a cup of coffee. The most famous café of Chiado is a Brasileira, famous for having had poet Fernando Pessoa among its customers. The Chiado is also an important cultural area, with several museums and theatres, including the opera. Several buildings of the Chiado were destroyed in a fire in 1988, an event that deeply shocked the country. Thanks to a renovation project that lasted more than 10 years, coordinated by celebrated architect Cesa Vieira, the affected area has now virtually recovered. The ornate, late 18th century Estrella Basilica is the main attraction of this district. The church with its large dome is located on a hill in what was at the time the western part of Lisbon and can be seen from great distances. The style is similar to that of the Mafra National Palace, late Baroque and Neoclassical. The façade has twin bell towers and includes statues of saints and some allegorical figures. São Bento Palace, the seat of the Portuguese Parliament and the official residences of the Prime Minister of Portugal and the President of the Assembly of the Republic of Portugal, are in this district. Also in this district is Estrela Park, a favourite with families. There are exotic plants and trees, a duck pond, various sculptures, a children's playground, and many cultural events going on through the year, including outdoor cinema, markets, and music festivals. <laughs> Park dos Nacos Parque dos Nacos Park of Nations is the newest district in Lisbon, having emerged from an urban renewal program leading to the World Exhibition of Lisbon 1998, also known as Expo 98. The area suffered massive changes giving Parque dos Nacos a futuristic look. A long-lasting legacy of the same, the area has become another commercial and higher-end residential area for the city. Central to this is the Gare do Oriente Orient Railway Station, one of the main transport hubs of Lisbon for trains, buses, taxis and the metro. Its glass and steel columns are inspired by Gothic architecture, lending the whole structure a visual fascination, especially in sunlight or when illuminated at night. It was designed by the architect Santiago Calatrava from Valencia, Spain. Across the street, through Vasco da Gama Mall, is Parque dos Nacos Park of the Nations, site of the 1998 World Expo. The area is pedestrian-friendly with new buildings, restaurants, gardens, the Casino Lisbon, the Phil Building International Exhibition and Fair, the Camos Theatre, as well as the Oceanario de Lisboa Lisbon Oceanarium, the second largest in the world. The district's Altis Arena has become Lisbon's Jack of All Trades performance arena. Seating 20,000, it has staged events from concerts to basketball tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> Government and politics See also, List of mayors of Lisbon and Lisbon politics in German. Topic: Local election results 1976 to 2017. 
Topic culture The city of Lisbon is rich in architecture, Romanesque, Gothic, Manuline, Baroque, modern and postmodern constructions can be found all over Lisbon. The city is also crossed by historical boulevards and monuments along the main thoroughfares, particularly in the upper districts. Notable among these are the Avenida da Liberdade, Avenue of Liberty, Avenida Fontes Pereira de Melo, Avenida Almirante Reis, and Avenida da República, Avenue of the Republic. There are several substantial museums in the city. The most famous ones are the Museu Nacional de Arte Antiga, National Museum of Ancient Art, the National Azulejo Museum, the Museu Calouste Gulbenkian, Calouste Gulbenkian Museum, containing varied collections of ancient and modern art, the Museu Nacional do Traje e da Moda, National Museum of Costume and Fashion, the Berardo Collection Museum, Modern Art at the Belém Cultural Center, the Museu da Electricidade, Electricity Museum, the Museu Nacional dos Coches, National Coach Museum, containing the largest collection of royal coaches in the world, the National Museum of Natural History and Science, Museum of the Orient, and the Lisbon City Museum. Lisbon's Opera House, the Teatro Nacional de São Carlos, hosts a relatively active cultural agenda, mainly in autumn and winter. Other important theatres and musical houses are the Centro Cultural de Belém, the Teatro Nacional de Maria II, the Gulbenkian Foundation, and the Teatro Camos. The Monument to Christ the King Cristo Rey stands on the southern bank of the Tagus River, in Almada. With open arms, overlooking the whole city, it resembles the Corcovado Monument in Rio de Janeiro, and was built after World War II, as a memorial of thanksgiving for Portugal's being spared the horrors and destruction of the war. The 13th of June is Lisbon's holiday in honor of the city's saint, Anthony of Lisbon, Portuguese, Santo Antonio. Saint Anthony, also known as Saint Anthony of Padua, was a wealthy Portuguese Bohemian who was canonized and made doctor of the church after a life preaching to the poor. Although Lisbon's patron saint is Saint Vincent of Saragossa, whose remains are housed in the Sé Cathedral, there are no festivities associated with this saint. Eduardo Seven Park, the second largest park in the city following the Parque Florestal de Monsanto, Monsanto Forest Park, extends down the main avenue, Avenida da Liberdade, with many flowering plants and green spaces. That includes the permanent collection of subtropical and tropical plants in the Winter Garden, Portuguese, Estufa Fria. Originally named Parque da Liberdade, it was renamed in honour of Edward VII of England who visited Lisbon in 1903. Lisbon is home every year to the Lisbon Gay and Lesbian Film Festival, the Lisborte, the Doc Lisboa, Lisbon International Documentary Film Festival, the Festival Internacional de Mascaras e Comediantes, the Lisboa Magica, Street Magic World Festival, the Monstra, Animated Film Festival, the Lisbon Book Fair, the Peaks M Lisboa, Lisbon Fish and Flavors, and many others. Lisbon has two sites listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site, Belém Tower and Geronimo's Monastery. Furthermore, in 1994, Lisbon was the European capital of culture and in 1998 organized the Expo 98 1998 Lisbon World Exposition. 
Lisbon is also home to the Lisbon Architecture Triennial, the Moda Lisboa, Fashion Lisbon, Experimenta Design, Biennial of Design, and Lisboa, Biennial of Light. In addition, the mosaic Portuguese pavement Calcada Portuguesa was born in Lisbon in the mid 1800s. The art has since spread to the rest of the Portuguese speaking world. The city remains one of the most expansive examples of the technique, nearly all walkways and even many streets being created and maintained in this style. In terms of Portuguese cities, Lisbon was considered the most livable in a survey of living conditions published yearly by Expresso. In May 2018, the city hosted the 63rd edition of the Eurovision Song Contest, after the victory of Salvador Sobral with the song, Amar Pelos Dua, in Kiev on 13 May 2017. Topic: Demographics. The historical population of the city was around 35,000 in 1300 AD, up to 60,000 in 1400 AD, and rising to 70,000 in 1500 AD. Between 1528 to 1590 the population went from 70,000 to 120,000, 150,000 in 1600 AD, and almost 200,000 in 1700 AD. The Lisbon metropolitan area incorporates two nuts three European statistical subdivisions, Grande Lisboa Greater Lisbon, along the northern bank of the Tagus River, and Peninsula de Setubal, Setubal Peninsula, along the southern bank. These two subdivisions make for the Região de Lisboa Lisbon region. The population density of the city itself is 6,458 inhabitants per square kilometre 16,730 per square miles. Lisbon has 552,700 inhabitants within the administrative centre on the area of only 100.05 square kilometres administratively defined cities that exist in the vicinity of the capital are in fact part of the metropolitan perimeter of Lisbon. The urban area has a population of 2,666,000 inhabitants, being the 11th largest urban area in the European Union after Paris, London, Ruhr area, Madrid, Milan, Barcelona, Berlin, Rome, Naples and Athens. The whole metropolis of Lisbon metropolitan area has about 3 million inhabitants. According to official government data, the Lisbon metropolitan area has 3,121,876 inhabitants. Other sources also show a similar number. According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, 2,797,612 inhabitants. According to the Department of Economic and Social Affairs of the United Nations, 2,890,000. According to the European Statistical Office, Eurostat, 2,839,000. 1908, according to the Brookings Institution has 2,968,600 inhabitants. Economy <inaudible> 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 The Lisbon region is the wealthiest region in Portugal and it is well above the European Union's GDP per capita average, it produces 45% of the Portuguese GDP. Lisbon's economy is based primarily on the tertiary sector. 
Most of the headquarters of multinationals operating in Portugal are concentrated in the Grande Lisboa subregion, especially in the Eras municipality. The Lisbon metropolitan area is heavily industrialized, especially the south bank of the Tagus River Rio Tejo. The Lisbon region is rapidly growing, with GDP PPP per capita calculated for each year as follows, €22,745 €23,816 €25,200 €26,100 the Lisbon metropolitan area had a GDP amounting to $96.3 billion, and $32,434 per capita. The country's chief seaport, featuring one of the largest and most sophisticated regional markets on the Iberian Peninsula, Lisbon and its heavily populated surroundings are also developing as an important financial centre and a dynamic economic technological hub. Automobile manufacturers have erected factories in the suburbs, for example, AutoEuropa. Lisbon has the largest and most developed mass media sector of Portugal, and is home to several related companies ranging from leading television networks and radio stations to major newspapers. The Euronext Lisbon Stock Exchange, part of the pan-European Euronext system together with the stock exchanges of Amsterdam, Brussels and Paris, is tied with the New York Stock Exchange since 2007, forming the multinational NYSE Euronext group of stock exchanges. Lisbonite industry has very large sectors in oil, as refineries are found just across the Tagus, textile mills, shipyards and fishing. Before Portugal's sovereign debt crisis and an EU IMF rescue plan, for the decade of 2010 Lisbon was expecting to receive many state-funded investments, including building a new airport, a new bridge, an expansion of 30 kilometres underground, the construction of a mega-hospital or central hospital, the creation of two lines of a TGV to join Madrid, Porto, Vigo and the rest of Europe, the restoration of the main part of the town between the Marcus de Pombal roundabout and Torero do Paco, the creation of a large number of bike lanes, as well as modernization and renovation of various facilities. Lisbon was the 18th most livable city in the world in 2015 according to lifestyle magazine Monocle. Transport Metro The Lisbon Metro connects the city centre with the upper and eastern districts and also reaches some suburbs that are part of the Lisbon metropolitan area, such as Amadora and Lores. It is the fastest way to get around the city and it provides a good number of interchanging stations with other types of transportation. From the Lisbon Airport station to the city centre it may take roughly 25 minutes. As of 2018, the Lisbon Metro comprises four lines, identified by individual colours blue, yellow, green and red and 56 stations, with a total length of 44.2 kilometres. Several expansion projects have been proposed, being the most recent the transformation of the Green Line into a circular line and the creation of two more stations Santos and Estrella. Topic. 
Topic: Trams. A traditional form of public transport in Lisbon is the tram. Introduced in the 19th century, the trams were originally imported from the U.S., and called the Americanos. The earliest trams can still be seen in the Museu da Caris the Public Transport Museum. Other than on the modern Line 15, the Lisbon tramway system still employs small four-wheel vehicles of a design dating from the early 20th century. These distinctive yellow trams are one of the tourist icons of modern Lisbon, and their size is well suited to the steep hills and narrow streets of the central city. Topic. Trains There are four commuter train lines departing from Lisbon, the Cascais, Sintra and Azambuja lines operated by CP, Comboios de Portugal, as well as a fourth line to Setúbal operated by Fertigas crossing the Tagus River, over the 25 de Abril Bridge. The major railway stations are Santa Apolonia, Rocio, Guerre do Oriente, Entrecampos, and Cais do Sodre. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Buses. Local bus service within Lisbon is operated by Caris. There are other commuter bus services from the city connecting cities outside Lisbon, and connecting these cities to Lisbon, Vimeca, Rotaviaria de Lisboa, Transportes Sul do Tejo, Boa Viagem, Baracaro are the main ones, operating from different terminals in the city. Lisbon is connected to its suburbs as well as throughout Portugal by an extensive motorway network. There are three circular motorways around the city, the two, circular, the IC-17 and the A9 Topic bridges and ferries The city is connected to the far side of the Tagus by two important bridges, the 25 de Abril Bridge, inaugurated as Ponte Salazar on 6 August 1966, and later renamed after the date of the Carnation Revolution, was the longest suspension bridge in Europe. The Vasco da Gama Bridge, inaugurated in May 1998, is, at 17.2 kilometers, 10.7 miles, the longest bridge in Europe. The foundations for a third bridge across the Tagus have already been laid, but the overall project has been postponed due to the economic crisis in Portugal and all of Europe. Another way of crossing the river is by taking the ferry. The company is Transtejo and Soflusa, which operates from different points in the city to Casias, Seychelles, Montillo, Porto Brando and Trafaria under the brand Transtejo and to Barrero under the brand Soflusa. Air travel Humberto Delgado Airport is located within the city limits. It is the headquarters and hub for TAP Portugal as well as a hub for EasyJet, Azores Airlines, Ryanair, Euroatlantic Airways, White Airways, and High Fly. A second airport has been proposed, but the project has been put on hold because of the Portuguese and European economic crisis, and also because of the long discussion on whether a new airport is needed. However, the last proposal is military air base in Montillo that would be replaced by a civil airport. 
so, Lisbon would have two airports, the current airport in north and a new in the south of the city. Cascais Aerodrome, 20 km west of the city centre, in Cascais, offers commercial domestic flights. <laughs> Lisboa public transportation statistics The average amount of time people spend commuting with public transit in Lisboa, for example to and from work, on a weekday is 59 minutes. 11.5% of public transit riders, ride for more than two hours every day. The average amount of time people wait at a stop or station for public transit is 14 minutes, while 23.1% of riders wait for over 20 minutes on average every day. The average distance people usually ride in a single trip with public transit is 6 km, while 10% travel for over 12 km in a single direction. Topic: Education. Lisbon has a well-developed education system of universities, kindergartens, and schools. Topic: International schools. In Greater Lisbon area there are many international schools such as St. Julian's School, the Carlucci American International School of Lisbon, St. Dominic's International School, Deutsche Schule Lisbon, Instituto Espanol de Lisboa, and Lycée Francais Charles Lepierre. Higher education In the city, there are three public universities and a university institute in Lisbon. The University of Lisbon, which is the largest university in Portugal, was created in 2013 with the union of the Technical University of Lisbon and the Classical University of Lisbon, which was known as the University of Lisbon. The new University of Lisbon, founded in 1973, is another public university in Lisbon and is known internationally by its Nova School of Business and Economics Nova SBE, its Economics and Management Faculty. The third public university is Universidade Aberta. Additionally, there's ISCTE, Lisbon University Institute, founded in 1972, a university institute that provides degrees in all academic disciplines. Major private institutions of higher education include the Portuguese Catholic University, focused on law and management, as well as the Luciada University, the Universidade Lusofona, and the Universidade Autónoma de Lisboa, among others. The total number of enrolled students in higher education in Lisbon was, for the 2007–2008 school year, of 125,867 students, of whom 81,507 in the Lisbon's public institutions. Libraries. <inaudible> 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 Lisbon is home to the Biblioteca Nacional de Portugal, the Portuguese National Library, with over three million books and manuscripts. The library has some rare books and manuscripts, such as an original Gutenberg Bible and original books by Erasmus, Christoph Plotin and Aldus Minutius. 
Another relevant library is the Torre do Tombo National Archive, one of the most important archives in the world, with over 600 years and one of the oldest active Portuguese institutions. There are, among others, the Arquivo Histórica Ultramarino and the Arquivo Histórica Militar. Topic: Sports. Lisbon has a long tradition in sports. It hosted several matches, including the final of the UEFA Euro 2004 Championship. The city also played host to the final of the 2001 IAAF World Indoor Championships and the European Fencing Championships in 1983 and 1992, as well as the 2003 World Men's Handball Championship, and the 2008 European Judo Championships. From 2006 to 2008, Lisbon was the starting point for the Dakar Rally. The city hosted the 2014 UEFA Champions League final. In 2008 and 2016, the city hosted the European Triathlon Championships. Lisbon has a leg at the Volvo Ocean Race. Topic: Football. The city hosts three association football clubs in Portugal's highest league, the Primeira Liga, Sport Lisboa e Benfica, commonly known as just Benfica, has won 36 league titles in addition to two European Cups. Lisbon's second most successful club is Sporting Clube de Portugal, commonly known as Sporting and mistakenly referred to as Sporting Lisbon in the English speaking world, winner of 18 league titles and the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup. A third club, CF. Os Belenenses, commonly Belenenses or Belenenses Lisbon, based in the Belém Quarter, has solely won one league title. Other major clubs in Lisbon include Atlético, Casa Pia, and Oriental. Lisbon has two UEFA Category 4 stadiums, Benfica's Estadio da Luz Stadium of Light, with a capacity of over 65,000 and Sporting's Estadio José Alvalade, with a capacity of over 50,000. There is also Belenenses Estadio do Ristelo, with a capacity of over 30,000. The Estadio Nacional, in nearby Eras, has a capacity of 37,000 and was used exclusively for Portuguese international football matches and cup finals until the construction of larger stadia in the city. It held the 1967 European Cup Final. Other sports Other sports, such as indoor football, handball, basketball, roller hockey, and rugby football, are also popular. The latter's national stadium is in Lisbon. There are many other sport facilities in Lisbon, ranging from athletics to sailing to golf to mountain biking. Lisboa and Troia Golf Course are two of many stunning golf courses located in Lisbon. Every March the city hosts the Lisbon Half Marathon, while in September the Portugal Half Marathon. <laughs> International relations Topic: Union of Luso Afro Americo Asiatic Capital Cities. 
Lisbon is part of the Union of Luso Afro Americo Asiatic Capital Cities from 28 June 1985, establishing brotherly relations with the following cities. Topic: Cooperation Agreements. Lisbon has additional cooperation agreements with the following cities. Topic: Union of Ibero-American Capital Cities. Lisbon is part of the Union of Ibero-American Capital Cities from 12 October 1982 establishing brotherly relations with the following cities. See also List of people from Lisbon List of tallest buildings in Lisbon Azulejo